wonder what's past this. projection of Gale of Waterdeep, and if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. However, for reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. A grave error in judgment indeed, which will pretend was never spoken. I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored strand. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting from the bottom right, play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is ignorant for what is my name? The answer is Kasi Trak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. I think ingenious is the word you're looking for. Now, repeat my instructions back to me, please. I'm not trying to try your patience. I simply need to be absolutely certain you understand. Have it your way. I can only hope your memory stretches further than your patience. Best of luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hands soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude.
the pouch is sealed with differently colored strands of thread. As the purple thread becomes undone, the pouch opens to reveal a letter and flute inside. This is the flute Gale kept on his person. A faint magical aura envelops its wooden surface. A natural tunesmith. Gale's magic flute is ready to be played. The flute awaits. Word, you did it! <laughs> oh, it's good to be alive. My hands are still cold, so that handshake will have to wait, but in the meantime. Thank you. <laughs> Quite. And I must say, 
I'm glad you've taken my plight to heart. I see my trust in you was most excellently placed. Now, I believe adventure awaits. Or misadventure, perhaps. <laughs> hmm. Shall we? Nothing would give me greater pleasure. <laughs> What's the subject of the day? The instructions were easy enough, weren't they? If slightly elaborate. I find that a healthy amount of theatrics, a voice from the beyond, a magic flute, a friendly, if highly combustible, magma method tends to make for a more compelling case. If nothing else, I'm sure I piqued your curiosity.